In this presentation, we will discuss how to import items, customers, and vendors from something outside of QuickBooks Pro, something like an Excel document into QuickBooks Pro 2019. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Here we are in QuickBooks Pro. We currently have the open items open by going to the view tab and open windows. We also have the only window being open, the home page. Now we're gonna look at how to import items and customers and vendors. We've seen how we can uh, enter that information into the system. The items being the inventory items, the service items, the customers being our customers, and the vendors being who we owe. Now, we do have that advanced screen that allows us to enter the data all in one a bit more easily as we have seen done and have done with the items and uh, the customers. It, we might be asking, well, is it possible if I have something like an Excel sheet to import all of, say, items or customers? And that would be a little bit faster in order to do. Uh, we won't get into all the details of that, but if it's something that you want to look into, it is possible to do that. You want to make sure that everything is lined up, of course, well, so that when you import the information from an external uh, document or spreadsheet, that uh, the, the, the fields will line up as we import it into QuickBooks. So the where to find that information, you can go into the File tab up top. And if we go down to Utilities, File, and then Utilities, and then we're going to Import. So we're going to Import Information. We have a few different options. We've got the Excel files, the IIF files, the Web Connect files, timer activities, uh, general journal entries. So if we had, for example, an Excel file that would list out that information in a similar fashion as we had seen in the items when we entered the information and in terms of um, the vendors and the customers, then we're going to select this uh, Excel file. Now it gives a default here and it's telling us uh, add or edit multiple list entries manager customers vendors and items list all in one place paste from excel uh, to quickly add new or um, edit existing entries so it's basically saying hey do you want to take us to that to the to the window that will allow us to enter uh, stuff very quickly so if if it's giving us a warning saying you know we might want to enter this stuff information in a bit more manual fashion rather than importing it so for example if we were to go and say yes i want you to take me to that screen um, then it would go to our our input screen here which we had seen in the past and a place that we can easily kind of line up our columns to whatever's in excel and copy and paste this information here so uh, quickbooks is kind of suggesting there maybe if you don't have a lot of information that would be the way to go to make sure that we're not importing a whole lot of data in an incorrect fashion in such a way that we would have then to then delete that information which would be um, not, not an easy process we'd rather get it in place correctly the first time <laughs> than put something in wrong or import something incorrectly that we would then have to go back and uh, adjust now of course if it's a new file and we just set it up then you know if we import it then it's not a big loss in quickbooks on, on quickbooks pro because then we can start we can you know, delete the file and start the process over if it's, an, if it's a brand new file. If it's not a brand new file, then we want to be very careful <laughs> to import uh, anything new. So again, you, we, you would go to File tabs here and you would go to Utilities and then Import. And then if we go to that Excel once again, and this time we're going to say, uh, you know, we don't want to do the suggestion and say no. And then you have these options to import the customer vendors and products. So, and, and of course the advanced import features over here. So that's as far as we'll take a look at this. So if you wanna test that out, uh, you're welcome to test that out. Our information has been input so far with the, uh, the bulk import screen or the bulk data input screen. So I'm gonna close this back out. We've entered our data. And if there's a lot of data, you can still pretty, put it in pretty efficiently, pretty quickly if uh, you line up your um, input screens such as this so you can kind of copy and paste them from an excel sheet over to this uh, this sheet and it's a little less worrisome especially if you already have the information already uh, into a system and but again if you're just testing out the data and it's a new file and there's no real risk to to uh, messing it up because you can start over over fairly quickly 
I think that would be the best way to do the import. If not, then again, be very careful uh, using, the, using the import type options. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.